Hey, this is Daryl Etherington from TechCrunch, and I'm here with Matt Sweeney from Uber. Hey, Matt, how's it going? It's going good, yeah. <laughs> Working on some great self-driving vehicles. Like this one. This is built on a Volvo XC90 and is our newest generation self-driving vehicle. So we've got a whole bunch of really interesting sensors added. This one draws the eye. Yes, it does. <laughs> uh, the, the, uh, the beautiful chicken bucket LiDAR. We've got cameras uh, around, around on this pod here, so front-facing stereo cameras and mono cameras. Uh, these are really high field of view, high dynamic range, high, uh, high resolution uh, cameras. Uh, and then the, the, the prominent uh, LiDAR laser scanner, throwing off several million points in a point cloud around the vehicle uh, every second. So how might that compare to like what we're capable of seeing when we're looking at the road? Yeah, so it's a great question. Um, this is 360 degrees, explicit distance measurements, really high resolution, high resolution cameras, um, superhuman perceptory powers. <laughs> All right. Oh, it's, it's roomy back here. All right, finding room. Right. Go ahead and follow the prompts. Let's ride. Let's check. Seatbelt, seatbelt. Check. 200 maximum, wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no destination changes, no, we know where we're going. Rides are video recorded, all set. So, uh, Dom's just bringing us to the route. Um, it's uh, suggesting self-driving to our vehicle operator. You can see up, up oh, here yeah. on our iPad, right now we're, we're just in manual mode. And when we transition into self-driving, starting self-driving, here we go. Oh. Oh, and you can take a picture too. Yeah, so um, there's a couple things we can see. This is a, a good representation of what the car sees. Um, it's showing us the LiDAR. You can see vehicles behind us. You see the pedestrian crossing the road, uh, park, park vehicle, um, a little bit of classification of objects. It's pretty cool to get a glimpse of uh, just a little piece of what the car sees. So you want to give the rider a sense of, of, of transparency, some kind of like access to what's going on with the vehicle there. Absolutely. Yep. So this is this is a uh, you know like a new piece of tech. Of course, we've got our vehicle operators in the front seat. But we want to have uh, people be able to understand so the car can see you know what all the things the car can see uh, and what it's how it's going to execute maneuvers through through that scene. How do you guys ensure if something goes wrong, like let's say one of these camera goes down or, or something in your compute stack goes down, sure. how do you make sure the car is then safe or can still continue operating? Yeah. So and that's, uh, the, the cars have, a, have a, an operator, all these vehicles uh, have an operator in the front seat. Uh, in the event that there's you know, some sort of failure with the sensor, that person takes over, drive it back to the garage uh, and get it fixed. Ready to go, and then yep. better than ever, right? Better than ever. <laughs> Oh, go ahead, yeah. It's gonna prompt us to take it. Oh, selfie? <laughs> Three, two, one. That's great. <laughs>